What's up guys, we're gonna bro beats today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some dynamic pads in Electra X. If you guys haven't subbed already or turn post noise on, make sure you do so because it does help out a lot. So let's hop right into this. So here we have Electra X and this is I think the 2.6 version. So I might be missing some features because I know there's a 2.7 version, um, but I just too lazy to pretty much update right now. But um, we're gonna be making a pad with every single oscillator here, synth one all the way to synth four. So we're gonna start on synth one. All right, so now we're in here and the first thing we need to do is initialize it. The reason for this is because you need to have the exact same settings I have because I know it's annoying following a video and all their settings are different than yours. So go to initialize right here, click that button and go all the way to the top. You can't see it right now, but it says reset all. And this is gonna reset all your settings back to zero. Let's check to see if it works. All right, so now it worked and we can move our knob. So for this first one, we're gonna keep it very simple and we're not gonna change anything in here. All right, because this actual first preset is really good for pads. All right, so what we need to do is change this PW knob and I'll show you what that does. All right, so it dramatically changes the sound. So what we need to do it's kind of just find a, a, a place you like. So if you like it right here, then use that. Don't you don't have to follow me completely. So I like mine and usually towards the left a little bit. So all right, so I'm gonna leave it right there. So now let's go ahead and move to the envelope. And now I know you hear that clicking. So I'll just Right, and you see that's kind of annoying. So what you can do to fix that is go to attack and kind of just move it up a little bit. Right, it's kind of gone. But on pads, I like to pull the attack up a lot more. So I usually keep it on the left side. Like you see this little knob, I usually keep it on the left side because you pull it all the way, then it kind of delays the sound. Right, but that sounds good too. But just for me, I like my pads to play a lot quicker. Okay, and then we have the sustain. And this, I don't really like this like here because it's like a big dip in the volume. All right, so I like to pull that up just a little bit so it's a little bit more consistent. Okay, and then if you just wanna know what these do, release is just like the tail of it, so like the decay. If there's no decay, it'll just stop instantly, like kind of like a, like a EDM lead. And then if you turn sustain down and the decay up a little bit, then it'll play like a bell almost. All right, so that's pretty much what that is doing. So let's turn this up a bit back to where it was at. Okay, so now what we want to do is turn the master volume up because it's kind of getting low as we edit the sound. So I usually put mine, mine at about like 60. I think that's pretty good. And then let's go to filter. Now I'm just explain. I'm gonna use this oscillator to kind of explain everything. That's why I'm gonna go. I'm pretty. I'm going pretty slow with this. So you have a low pass, and this is what it does, right? Cutting out highs, and then the high pass is the opposite. It's cutting out lows. And then for pads, what I like to use are the bell curves, all right? So it'll give you more of like a, like a ramp or not a ramp, like a triangular shape. And then the lower it is the wider the cut is and then the higher the db the sharper so i like to use just the middle ones 18 db and you can kind of just play around and you can modulate all these knobs so if you wanted to do something like this you can do that but we'll do that in another one um so do this all right so now the last thing you need to do is the effects. Now this is the magic. This is what makes it sound good. So click this off and then I like to use infinity for my pads and then make sure you turn these effects all the way up. Again, this is my preference. Yours may be different. Whatever you like is gonna be different. So I don't like the size to be at 140. I usually turn it to like or somewhere around 100. So I think that's fine. And then for my decay, I don't like a lot of decay because it just sound it bleeds too much. So let's turn this down and we could turn it to like 30% first. All 
All right, now this is a trial and error part, so I don't like how airy it is. So I'm gonna turn the, the mix down just a little bit. All right, and really you could stop there and you could just change. So once you have these settings, you could just change around some things and just find a better sound if you want. But that's pretty much how you make a pad. So now we're just gonna add to it and make it dynamic so it's not boring. All right, so let's go to Synth 2. All right, so we're gonna do Synth 2 now. So let's click Synth 2, turn it on, and then let's choose a different wavetable. So let's do like a PD sine square. I really like this one. All right, so this is what it sounds like normally. All right, very, very harsh. So let's pull it back a little bit. Kind of round it off. So now what I like to do with the second sound and it's like the type of sound that I like to like make, I want to put this octave to like three, okay? All right, sounds horrible right now, but what we're gonna do is shape it so that it sounds a lot better. And the first step to doing that is coming down here to the envelope and then we're going to turn this attack up so it doesn't have that click. All right. And then just like the first one, when I showed you how to make a key or like a bell, turn the sustain all the way down and you can mess with this decay a little bit, but I kind of want this to be like plucky. Okay. So now what we're going to do is mess with the arpeggiator. So I'll just show you a preset. I like, I go alt down. You can't see that right now, but you'll see it's alt down. Okay, and then I'd like to use mess around with like one of these three. So I'll like one thirds BPM sounds pretty decent. Okay, and then these are pretty much the velocity. So we can just, you know, put this to three and then we we'll put this one to one. And then on this one, you can kind of change it. Now, if you want it to be in key or in harmony, you want to go uh, by 12. So basically where we at zero. So 12 will be the next octave. For that particular note but it's not gonna hit it so i'm gonna try this one and show you what i mean so that's pretty much what that does and you can slide it too i'll show you a slide real quick all right that's pretty much what it's doing um let me see anything else here i think that's good enough for now so now let's go over to filter and then we can just leave this as you no know, the normal and you can just pull this back a little bit just to get rid of those harsh frequencies towards the towards the top. All right. So now put the magic on and my favorite preset on here is multi tap, especially for like sounds like this. Um, and really, I just use leave it like this and put the, the mix all the way up and you can just mess around with like some of this stuff. Let's try reverse. So let's see, what's a good one? This one's pretty good. And I just turned the volume down to blend it into the first sound. So it's kind of not um, taking, I guess the, I don't know the word I'm trying to look for, but basically just taking its place. All right, so that's pretty much it for synth two. Pretty basic. Now let's move on to synth three. Okay, so now Synth 3, let's click on Synth 3, same process, click on. Now, um, now we're gonna choose a different wavetable. So you can choose all types of, you can choose noise, samples, you can load your own samples here, analog. Let's do Ultrasaw, because these sound pretty decent with uh, pads. And then I like to use one of these Hypersaw presets. Let's just use the one in the middle. All right, Hypersaw uh, 7. So now it's just about adjusting the sound how you want it. All right, and now let's put this up to two because remember on this one, we had it on three and this one should be on one. So now let's put this to two to kind of fill out all of the, you know, frequencies and everything. So it's full because our goal is to make sounds that, that we don't really have to do much to. All right, we don't have to load up, you know, four VSTs. You can probably load up two and you'll be good. So now we need to edit this. So let's pull this down.
Okay, and let's pull the sustain down because I want this to play like a bell almost. And to do that, you just want to increase the decay. If you want it to play like a pluck, you go the other way. So you go to the left, and if you want it to play like a key, like I just said, you can increase the decay. Let's turn that volume down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is do something a little different. And we're going to start up here on this filter. So now we can pull this filter back about halfway. Right click, go to modulate with LFO and click the first one. All right. Um, you can't, I'm not sure if you can see that, but just click it. You can see this little white part and that's where it's going to modulate. So if you pull this down, this little knob here, you'll decrease the range. So what we can do is pull this until it's kind of like halfway, like somewhere right there. Okay, and then that LFO that we, LFO one is the one that controls the modulation. So this is LFO one, LFO one. So if we slow this up, I'm just turning the volume but down a little bit. So now let's add some magic to it. Um, we could do something different instead of delays and stuff. Let's use like a let's use a vocoder. And probably don't want this all the way. All right, and we want it subtle because this is a pad. We don't want it to be like super strong. We just want it to be like ambient, right? So I think that's good enough. So now let's move to the last one, synth four. Okay, so let's go to synth four. Now I use synth four, it's like icing on the cake. All right, just to kind of add any other sounds that I think may solidify the preset. So what I like to do is turn this octave up to three, the same as synth two. And then we can choose a different uh, type of sound. We got wavetables, ultrasaw. Let's use on analog for this one. And then I just use usually default to like a sign. So we're done here. It's gonna sound really bad at first. All right, so now we need to modify the sound. So now we can pull this up a little bit. Okay, and let's make this kind of like a key or like a bell-ish sound. Kind of Let's turn it down just a little bit. All right, sounding a lot better. So now let's go to arpeggiator and let's choose a different um, type of ARP. So we could do pop two. This is a pretty good one. Pop two. And then... All right, and let's slow it down with a half a BPM. Or actually, let's do one for it. And this will add a little melody to it, even though you're not actually, you don't have those notes and your chords or whatever. It's just going to add a little something to it. And this will make it dynamic so that you don't have to add so many sounds, right? So now what we're going to move over to is um, this filter section. And um, you could do, we could do like a, let's see, a high pass, right? And you can kind of. Just kind of take out some of those low um, frequencies and stuff. So now again, the magic, you, you click this and insert effects. And then one other preset is ping pong. I really like this stuff, the multi-tap and ping pong, they just make things sound so uh, good, but you can use other stuff as well. You don't have to just use what I'm using. You can kind of find your own style. Um, so let's put it there and maybe, let's just see what it sounds like here. All right, so I like that. I like both of them. So if you like both of them like me, what we can do just for like some extra practice, you can right click, modulate with LFO and we can go LFO one. And then you can kind of just.
All right, I was just putting it back to default because I kind of like the default setting there. So that's how you can kind of modulate between effects. And that's why Electro X is so fun to make sounds in. So that is pretty much our sound. And let's kind of mix this in. Okay, and the very last thing we're gonna do is you can go up to effects and you can add a bunch of stuff, right? So you can add stuff on the master. You can add a compressor to control your sounds. Um, for this one, I might just add, let's try reverb glass. Just to give it a little bit of push of ambience. And I don't think we need to take any sounds out um, or any frequencies out. So I think that's pretty much it. So now let's just save it. Um, so basically what you wanna do is go to file, go to save patch as. All right, you can see we have a preset in here. So if you already have a preset, what I like to do, just to make life, life easier, click the preset and then you can just delete the name. So for this one, we can name it, you know, and it's tough, I don't know, we can name it like Let's see, retro, no, retro guard. I don't know. Just name it something, all right? And then you save it, boom. And this is like the, well, this is my um, path to get to my, you know, preset, all right? And you save it. And now I have two presets and you can see it says no name bank, right? Because I haven't named this yet. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully uh, this helped out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.